you for joining Hudson Regional Hospital's podcast. My name is Cheryl Sibby, and it's my pleasure to introduce Dr. Louis Grau, orthopedic surgeon. Dr. Grau, so tell me a little bit about your background. I was born in Havana, Cuba, and uh, I grew up in Miami. And uh, that's where I did my undergraduate training at the University of Miami. And then um, I went to medical school in Chicago uh, at the University of Chicago. And um, then for my orthopedic residency, I went back to Miami. Um, and I did an additional year uh, of training and a fellowship in hip and knee replacement at the Rothman Institute. One of the pleasant surprises uh, coming to uh, New Jersey is uh, uh, how such a high percentage of my patients speak Spanish. So uh, I was worried about that leaving Miami that I would lose that part of my culture, but it's actually been a surprise uh, how many Spanish speaking patients I have uh, in Hudson County. So you're fluent in Spanish? See. Si. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of made you want to pick orthopedics as a specialty? What kind of like either in your childhood or kind of your adulthood when you were going to medical school, you definitely said like, this is really what I want to do. I grew up around orthopedics. My, my father's an orthopedic surgeon. So I, um, you know, kind of grew up, you know, hearing what he was saying and what he was doing and going to the hospital with him. I'm like, you know, take your kid to, uh, to work take day to and work all that day. stuff. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about robotic surgery. What do you think that our community needs to know about a robotic surgeon? So um, I would say over the last uh, decade, uh, technology's come a long way. Um, so uh, before hip and knee replacements used to be done with manual instruments where you sort of, you know, eyeball your bony cuts, your balance of the knee uh, was more based on feel. And um, the technology now has allowed computers uh, and robots to uh, help assist a surgeon. So we're able to put the implants within half a millimeter of accuracy and uh, get the alignment uh, with one degree of precision where before the naked eye couldn't have that level of accuracy. I think where we're really gonna see the difference in robotic surgery is when we see patients 10, 20, 30 years from now. We used to tell patients, you know, a knee replacement may last you 15 years, but with robotic surgery, we're able to use different implants, implants that don't require glue. Uh, they're porous, sort of, uh, you know, like the surface of the moon. Mm -hmm. Your body grows into these implants and uh, they're yours forever. I think actually the community really thinks that the robot is actually the person who operates. Can, so can you kind of just walk us through a little bit about exactly what you do as a robotic surgeon? Just a little bit more in depth, because I that's think- a, the... That's a great question. I, you know, I get that from patients every day in the office. So, you know, it's not like I'm at home drinking my coffee and the robot's doing the surgery. It's more of a robotic arm, okay? So you still get into the knee, get into the hip the exact same way you normally would. The only difference is now when you go make the cut on the bone, uh, you have a computer that knows where the robotic arm is in space. So I'm still holding the robotic arm. I'm still performing the surgery. However, I'm guided by a computer and a robotic arm that's very precise, you know, when I'm making all my bony cuts and when I'm putting the implants um, in the patient's body. So how has the Institute of Robotic Surgery impacted you as an orthopedic surgeon? So one of the things that really attracted me uh, to Hudson Regional is um, the hospital has made a tremendous investment um, in technology. Um, so when I came to the area, um, you know, I did a lot of my training in robotics and I was interested in doing robotics and I was having, you know, difficulty getting traction with, you know, other hospitals to get them to invest in this, even though I thought that this was the future. And so uh, Hudson uh, was very uh, accommodating and, you know, we got the robot before I even started here. And, uh, you know, we've developed the Robotic Center of uh, Excellence uh, for Joint Replacement. Why do you actually choose taking your patients to Hudson? Well, I really like it here. There's a great family uh, atmosphere and, um, you know, I think there's a, a sense of team, um, you know, so I operate with the same people every single day. We do the same two surgeries. You know, I only do hip and knee replacements uh, over and over again. And what I think happens is uh, when you have repetition with the same people, you get really efficient and really good at what you do. Um, because everybody has their role. So Dr. Grau, I'm sure patients come to your office all the time with many questions. One I know that the community would like to hear is about insurance and extra coverage and or additional costs that may be out of their pocket related to you being a robotic surgeon. Can you just elaborate a little bit on that, please? Absolutely. So uh, one of the reasons I love coming to Hudson Regional is because I take all insurances and um, uh, so does the hospital. So they've been extremely accommodating to get all my patients in for surgery. Another thing that does uh, get brought up by patients a lot is if I do this robotically, uh, will this, uh, you know, create any extra cost for me? So the cost of robotics or, you know, things, you know, to that extent are, are dealt with on the hospital. And so there, are, there is no additional cost for the robotic surgery to the patient. What do you kind of tell your athletes or your runners about, you know, doing, say, a total knee replacement robotically? What do you kind of tell them to reassure them that, you know, it'll kind of be a better, you know, thing for them in the long run? You know, 
when you look at uh, some institutions that have been doing this since the 70s, you know, I think there's these sort of old, you know, traditions that you hear and it's a lot of times gets passed down, you know, from primary care doctors to patients or friends, you know, that they tell you, you know, you can't cross your leg, you can't squat, you can't run, you can't. So my goal as a joint replacement surgeon is to tell you that you have no restrictions, right? So with robotic surgery, with muscle sparing surgery, with the new implant technology that we have, you know, I'm confident that I can tell all my patients, if you want to run, run. If you want to snowboard or ski, do it. My goal always is to tell every patient you have no restriction. You don't, you know, you don't have to think about this again. You know, that's my goal in the surgery. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today. Please visit our website for future podcasts.